one-stop shop for all your unicorn sporting needs. Yes, good morning all. Look at this. The only silverware we're going to get our hands on this season. Hey! hey. I'm not even trying to this. It belongs there. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so coming up in the show, we've got all of our regular features, all of the well-known classics, as well as a, a season review, Jim. So yeah. I don't know if you just want to crack straight on the show, because we've got a lot to fit in. Might as well, eh? We're here. Um, I don't know what you think, but I think to say there's a transitional period, we've lost, probably I'd say, the spine of the team last season. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, we lost, we lost uh, a few key players, but I think on the whole, we've got a good season, yeah. haven't we? Second, second place, nothing on that, is yeah, it? No, no, mean feet. no mean feet. I mean, don't want to dwell too much on last year because I'm all about the here and now. Well, I am as well, Jim. I think, although I've not been there much this season, from what I hear, it's been a good last so. I, I think we've missed you, mate, yeah. Yeah, not football. Anymore. Anyway, enough about me. Enough about me. Yeah. So, um, what the what, what sort of period do you think that we kind of let, let the title slip then? Well, we were early season pace setters, I'd say. Um, yeah. Got off to a good start, yeah. some good results. Um, we kept the goal goals against down. I think we only conceded thirty goals this season, which yeah. is an improvement on last year actually. So. Yeah. So that well, um, I would say that's two or three yeah. seasons running now where we've not conceded that many goals. Yeah, exactly. Always good. Yeah. Um, I think probably the goal scoring was a bit of a problem. I mean, strikers, top scorers getting nine goals. It's I heard Sean Charlton almost was our top scorer. Yeah, yeah. He dire straight. I think he got top top bookings and red cards. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. He probably had a couple of pints. Yeah, before. he needs to borrow some top tampons. <laughs> 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 yeah, so um, and of what but you can't you can't fault the effort the la- effort the landscape in game out. We're trying the hardest, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah we played some good stuff. Toller uh, likes his sexy football, doesn't he? And uh, not as well much of a well drilled. He also but... likes uh, shit himself as well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's Toller's nappy. He's not just yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So what we what we got coming up anyway? Just... Well, I know we've just been talking about being shot shy and uh, not scoring so many goals. So. Uh, Maybe something like, say, this had gone in over Christmas could have really kicked on. That's right, it's time for this week's Taxi. Taxi! Taxi for Steve Bradley! Taxi is recorded in front of a live stadium audience. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking dick. Absolute bloody crank. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll tell you what, talk about being shot shy. If you can't hit the target from that far out, then where can you hit it? Yeah, the little halfway line. Well, let's find out. It's time for this week's crossbar challenge. The Marshall right back! Field. 
Sunny Dale. The tyrant. Well, luckily for us, Jim, I've got some exclusive unicorn footage showing Sean's shooting prowess in front of the goal. <laughs> Roll the film. Nice. Taxi! Taxi for Sean! Taxi is recorded in front of a live stadium audience. Well, here's a stat for you. Come on, Jim. You probably could have guessed from finishing like that. Shirley has scored as many goals as Beansy this year. Wow. He's been on fire. Wow. Didn't Last... Beansy once get a hat trick in 20, yeah. in 20 minutes coming on as a sub? Don't get him started on that. Uh, well, I'll have to ask you after Beansy to tell me the story because I'm nervous. Yeah, ask him. Anyway. Uh, moving on, um, honestly lads, it's time to get a little bit serious now because uh, it's time for something that means a lot to us, doesn't it? I have been looking forward to it probably since 2007 when we first started. Yeah, um, it's been on the cards. Everyone knows that the Unicorn FC philosophy is very similar to Real Madrid's, which is power, bit of pace, bit of pace, agility, bags of agility, and that free flowing sexy football that keeps the fans coming back year after year. <laughs> But, Jim, yeah, the, the main thing we look for is pace. So I'm really, I can't control it. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. So excited to announce. Come on, time. This is This is And yes, we're building up now to the men's final of the 100 meter slow race. Obviously one of the biggest races at this year's Olympics. Fans favourite and current number one, Gary Nicholson, running in lane one, so keep an eye on him. Uh, the first English champion, obviously since the late, great Carl Handley, who had to retire for squash reasons. Right then, let's get down to the race. In lane one, Gary Nicholson, Olympic champion, looking for another personal best again for this race. Next to him, lane two, Sean Charlton, the youngster emerging from the UK. Will Kipling, the rank outsider, but does have a late turn speed. Andrew doesn't stand a fucking chance, Heinz. In three, <laughs> two, one.
Well, I can't say anything. Thoroughly deserved win there for a unicorn champion. Yeah, unsurprising as well. I've always thought he was slow and runs like a fucking penguin. So. <laughs> That's right, what's next up? Saw it coming. Well, this week we've got a nice chance to catch up with a unicorn new boy. Um, he's recently signed over the summer, impressed pre season. Shooting's been wild, along with some of his tackles, finally. That's why he's fit right in. He had a bit of a reputation when he came and, uh, as a hard man. Soft cock, I think. But um, <laughs> Let's see how Steve Richards fits in with his new teammates. Nile, it dry Baby beans. Frank Crowther, he was a teacher. Honey, he wears fish catcher jeans. Carl, One Direction, Lionel Richie. And what's a shite like that? Totter, he, he put some naughty tackles and you wouldn't think. And he's dancing in, dancing in the arm. According to Dave Crowther, it'll be Stacey when he's knocking the fucking box off it. That's your neck. That's what I'm fucking to give you for you. Cut. Copy's quite made for a fucking ginger cut. <laughs> Obvious one, Holly Thomas, how the fuck start a pull there? Yeah, uh, mind doing a handstand in there, wash basket. Hacking it a boy, uh, <laughs> Big Dan. Fucking Stu Adams, Jamie's fucking shite and a donkey. Totter, he fucking pulls up every two minutes. Fucking Gav. Longest in the shower. That's obviously the sledgehammer. I've been told I'm like a white deal in Dublin. Fucking down there. Fucking hand sand in the wash basket. Fucking <laughs> some boy, innit? Some boy, yeah. It sounds like fucking tea sack tin to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I don't think any of the, the wags will be crying on that one this year. To be honest, Jim, I think he's done himself a bit of a favour now. I think every single one of the unicorn wag will be queuing up, fighting for a goal on Stevie Sledgehammer. Yeah. Yeah. I might join the fucking back of the line, like yeah. some boy, innit? Good lad. <laughs> right, what's coming up next, Jim? Right, well, um, I don't really know. I don't think I can add enough superlatives to this one. I don't know how to describe it. It's, one of the biggest things we've ever done, we like to top things year on year, so... To be honest, I think we've blown the budget this time, that's yeah. why we couldn't have any pyrotechnics while we're announcing this. <laughs> totally spunked it. Honestly, so, it's just gone. It's just astronomical this year. Anyway, Jim, let's get locked in and load it for... Uni 1D. <laughs> It's 
the way we play. Woo! Straight into the half and boss it. Through me field and past defense. Woo! But the keeper fucking saves it. I said, will you pass it back to me? He said, never in your past dreams. And we play football for the best of ever. All he does a lie. Go. Enough about Tata's nose. Wow! More about Chatty Gavin. Hanging with his bros and hoes. Bros and hoes. Chilling, talking, and just laughing. We say, Do you want another drink? He says, Only if it's from now, Spink. And we play football for the best club ever. Double teams holding pass for your new inflation. Leroy's goals, we all know. He can score a header. Cause we play football for the best club ever. Can I get a you ooh me? Can I get a you ooh me? Then we score a goal. He knows how to pass the ball. I know, I know, I know he'll pass me the ball. He knows, he knows, he knows how to pass the ball. I know, I know, I hope you remember how we pass. How we pass. Play football, the best club ever. We lose our draw. It's worth a talk. Anyway, what can we say about that, I, I don't know, it was, it was amazing to be honest. Absolutely fantastic. I don't think this video is going to get any better. No, that's probably a good place to end it then, I think. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Jim. So, from all of us here at the Unicorn, thanks very much for tuning in. Yeah, see you next year, hopefully. And singing us out tonight will be Paul Pants Down, Peter Far Brown. Take it away, Peter! <laughs> Yes, I can't break through. There's no talking to you. So sad that you're leaving. It takes time to believe it. But after all I said and done, you're gonna be the only one. Do you believe in love and the love? I can be something some things I really don't think it's strong enough, no. Do you believe in love like a love? Ooh, ooh. I can be some things I can I really don't think it's strong enough, no. Do you believe in love like a love? Ooh, ooh. What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you and I can't do that. You just look like a twat. <laughs> Down to move on. I need love to feel strong. But after all, I 
said I'm done. I know. You gotta be the only one. Hello, is this Stu? Yeah. I'm fucking... I want a fucking word with you. My fucking lass is up the stick and she told me she doesn't know if it's fucking mine or yours. Where the, where the fuck are you at? Who's that? It's fucking Carl. Who? The name's Carl. Carl Walker. I'm fucking not happy like I don't know if it's fucking mine or yours. And I've heard you got, I've heard you got about fucking nine kids. Uh, I fucking don't know about that, like. She's so give us your number. She give you my number. Yeah, she said you fucking went through her about three months ago. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's not fucking funny, mate. It's not my fault. Uh, you fucking won't be soon. Who's your last? She's called fucking Kerry. You little fat fucker. She's not nice. Anyway, I'm, fu- I'm coming to fucking see you anyway. Right, I'll see you in about an hour. Thank <laughs> you. 